Ordinarily, I would blame this all on my dog, but I don't think he can take credit for it this time. But yeah, we got hit with quite a bit of wind last night, as I'm sure a lot of you did across the Midwest. And uh, it left quite the mess to clean up. Guys, welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So I had a different plan for today. I was actually gonna do something more related with the first gen. However, I'm kind of in a situation now where I've gotta clean up the yard so that, well, first off, we can mow it because we gotta mow it and now it's completely trashed. Basically, last night I was on Instagram and I saw some photos from a guy that lives west of us and his Instagram is Cuz I Farm on Instagram if you want to go check it out but anyways I saw him posting some pictures of some grain bins that were just completely like smashed from the wind and some barn doors ripped off and all kinds of stuff and I was like dang like I hope we don't get hit with that wind and then I look at my phone and I'm like expect that in like one hour we're supposed to get hit with like this 80 mile an hour wind. I've been around through winds crazier than that but it's been very very rare up where we are you know up in up in the Midwest you know it's not like we're down in hurricane territory so it happens like very very periodically like once or twice a year maybe you'll get like a crazy win and then it's gone after an hour or two and then it's just that's it you know this wasn't long so it came through everything was clear and sunny kind of like it is now and then it just got dark and it was like 7 p.m it's not supposed to be dark at 7 p.m in august and then after it was dark about 10 minutes later everything just got saturated with rain I mean you could hardly see out the window and the wind was just whipping through so fast and so hard and then all these branches just go flying through the yard and at the time I don't know how long it was gonna last and so the horse was actually out in the pasture and the donkey and so I had to run out there open the gate put them up in the barn to where they still had access to run out of the barn to their run just in case they you know had to for some reason but for the most part they weren't trapped out in the pasture and the crazy weather and getting like speared with a freaking you know massive limb flying through them or something like that you know what i'm saying just so they're like pretty much you know well out of the way of that kind of stuff it could have been worse none of the shingles came off the house which is kind of surprising and then uh no barns or buildings were damaged so that's always a good thing because a lot of people were not so lucky with that wind that ripped through and a lot of people lost a lot of structures and stuff and that's never fun. Our vehicles almost got smoked though. The Cadillac did get hit with some stuff, but luckily it wasn't anything too crazy. Like there's a stick that <laughs> is stuck up like in between one of the spokes, but it's just all like little tiny twigs and stuff and nothing that, I mean, if it did anything to the car, it's nothing that I can notice. I'm not really worried about it. The OBS, believe it or not, other than a couple little teeny tiny pieces of twigs and leaves on top of the hood, didn't get hit with anything in terms of anything that could have further chipped the paint or banged it up or anything like that, you know. Which is kind of surprising. You can see some of the huge sections of treetops that broke way up there, some huge limbs. I'm just dangling, that's just hanging there. So, I mean, there's a lot to clean up. There's a ton to clean up, but we're gonna get going on that here and I'm gonna set up some time lapse and get to cleaning up this yard right now. I don't have to be doing this. That's why I hire helping hands to take care of this kind of crap. So I basically just limbed everything up and then I was thinking about hauling it all out of here and I'm like, wait, why am I doing this? Because the guys that I have over here to do all my lawn care and stuff, my brother and his friend, they can, uh, they can clean all this mess up too. On our way to the post office, this is a new thing that we're having to do now regularly again. We used to do this back when we first started LNP LLC where we started selling products and all this stuff, but now we do it pretty regularly. So this is again yesterday, I believe it was Yesterday, I believe it was yesterday's video. I'm saying um, we shipped out Probably twice as much as you see here. This is not every order that you know has been placed up to this point But most of the orders some stuff is still kind of running behind in terms of like shipments But not like three four five six weeks behind like before like your orders might take a couple extra days if we're waiting for a shipment to show up that you know is running like you know a few days behind um, but for the most part everything is like shipping out like 
typically same week. Some of these orders same day, but a lot of them, at least the same week they're ordered. And then in terms of our shirts and clothing and stuff like that, the other day, all of our hats were literally all sold out, but two models. And then a lot of our t-shirts were sold out. We did restock a bunch of that stuff. So if you're wanting something, I'm telling you, Every order over $25 gets cash, random cash. $5 minimum though, you're not gonna get any $1 bill in there. And then also on top of that, every $1 is five times the entries, but that ends and will not come back after Saturday, August 15th. And of course that is to win that 1997 F350 right over there. Just pulled out of Menards. Did we clear them out of their shelving or or did we clear them out of their shelving? <laughs> Listen, a few hundred dollars later, I was like, Yep, we'll take it all. And we just took it all. All of it. So we're gonna get back to the house and assemble this so that in the meantime, while we are using our living room as a merch packing facility, we can at least, you know, walk through it and not, you know, have boxes all over the ground. So that's gonna be the mission when we get back home. So here's what we've got to work with. I'm currently this is my little work desk and this is where all the magic happens all the orders are packed and stuff here's all the current inventory that's here there's a ton more showing it believe it or not this is like 10 percent of what we're actually supposed to get in so what i'm going to try to do is get the shelving thrown up i should be able to fit this all just on this wall i think i should be able to fit um at least at least two of these this whole width here you know on that wall and then at least two on this wall my idea was to do, you know, two or three here and two or three there. And then as many as I could fit up until that door on this wall. And then uh, at least so that for now when we get shipments in, we can, you know, I mean, this is only a few boxes. That's one type of shirt, two, three, four. There's another box out there. And then one style of hoodie. So that's, there's only five products here right now. And it's still just freaking it's packed. So we're going to get to doing this. Taking that picture down probably so we don't uh, just trap it behind the shelving. But I guess, whatever. We might leave it, I don't know. But anyways, we're gonna get to unboxing this stuff and getting this thrown up and seeing if we can't get what we have, at least for now, organized. Did not get everything on time lapse, but here is what we got. And uh, we don't have all of the stuff in right now, but this is what we do have in stock. So if you see uh, on the store, the blue Loud and Proud shirts, the red LNP Mountain or MNT LNP, whatever, uh, the LNP Shield t-shirts, etc., the long sleeves, the gray hoodies, we do have those in stock right now and ready to ship. The other stuff's supposed to be here in like two days so for anybody that did not order one of these design t-shirts they have not shipped yet um, but they should be arriving any day here now so they can get out to you guys same with like keychains and stuff like that those should be here within the next day or two to get all those shipped out but other than that here's where we are and uh much much nicer much more organized and these actually lock together so if you see in between here i don't know if you can see it but there's basically like these hooks and on this side there's hooks and on the other side there's basically a spot for this to lock in on a track basically so that the entire shelf is locked together as one unit and they actually kind of like support off of each other as well for stability and stuff like that which is actually kind of cool well everybody thank you so much for watching i will catch you in the next video do not forget that if you want to enter to win that obs ford plus $5,000 cash right now. Every $1 is five entries to win that truck. And every order over $25 gets cash back all random amounts, but $5 is the minimum. You won't find an order with less than that in it during this time period. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.